All right, here we go. Number 17 in our college algebra, homework number three. In my lab math, we've got a word problem. It says, after declining between 1940 and 1980, the number of multi-generational households has been increasing since 1980. This function can be used to estimate the number of multi-generational households in country, whatever, in millions. So this H of X is going to be the amount of households in millions. X is the number of years after 1940. So X is time. H of X is the number of households. It says in what year? That means we're looking for X. In what year were there 50 million multi-generational households? That 50 is the amount of households, which is H of X. And so up here on the screen, we're going to show how to set that up. So H of X is going to be 50, and that's going to equal 0.012 X squared minus 0.593 X plus 35.724 and now we have a quadratic equation that we need to set equal to zero. So that means the 50 is going to have to move over, which is going to make that minus 50. And we'll need to combine like terms here at the back. So we've got 0.012x squared minus 0.593x. And then this number, 35. 724 minus 50 is negative 14.278. I'm sorry, 6. Negative 14.276. So now we have our quadratic in standard form. We can see that A is going to be 0 0.012, B is negative 0 0.593, and C is negative 14.276. And now we're going to plug into the quadratic formula. And just to remind you, the quadratic formula is X is equal to negative B plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a quadratic formula. So let's plug in. We're going to have x is equal negative b. And since b is already negative, that's going to make that positive. 0.593 plus or minus square root of b squared. So 0 0.593. Now that's negative, okay, but if I square that it'll become positive. So I can leave the negative off knowing that this is going to be positive anyway. Minus 4 times 0 0.012 times negative 14.276 all over 2 times 0 0.012. Man, that's nasty, nasty, nasty. So I've got a special treat for you. I downloaded an emulator, bam, and we're going to show how to put this into the calculator. So let's go back to our uh, calculation menu. And what we want to do here on the calculator is we want to put the stuff under the radical only into the calculator. So 0 0.593 squared minus 4 times 0 0.012 times negative 14.276 equals. And so this is the number that's going to be under the square root. So now we're going to have 0.593 plus or minus square root of 
1.036897 all over uh, 2 times 0 0.012. Let's see what that is. 2 times 0 0.012. And if I hit the SD button, 0 0.024. 0.024. And so now I need to calculate this, okay? So to show you how to do that on our calculator here, we're going to start with our fraction button. We're going to do 0.593. And let's do the plus first. Plus square root 1.036897. And then move down all over 0 0.024 equals 67. And that is 67 rounded to the nearest whole number. So this is going to equal to 67. Remember, that's years. And then we need to go back and do the minus. So the easiest way to do that is just to scroll back until you get to the plus and hit delete, which is right here, and put minus. And that is negative 17. That 7 is going to round that up to negative 18. Okay, but does it make any sense to have negative time? In this case, no. The negative 18 doesn't count. So that is 67 years that it's going to take to get to 50 million multi-generational households, okay? 67 years. So if we go back to this window, it says in what year. It doesn't say how many years. It says in what year. So when did we start counting? After 1940. So what we need to do is we need to start at 1940, and 67 years later is when this will happen. So let's see, on the calculator, again, if we pull that up, that's going to be 1940 plus 67, bam, 2007. Let's see if that's right. Oh, man, crazy. That is correct. Now, just for bonus stuff, just to make this interesting, I want to show you if you have this particular Casio, the Casio uh, FX991EX class whiz, this particular calculator actually has a quadratic solver. So if we scroll back up here so that we can see our values for A, B, and C, what we can do is hit the menu button and we're going to go until we see the icon called equation and we're going to hit equals to select this is a polynomial and the degree is 2 and look at that it says ax squared plus bx plus c all you have to do is enter the coefficients so we're going to put 0 0.012 equals negative 0.593 equals and negative 14.276 equals and then if we hit equals one more time look at that it's going to tell us our answer that we got just a second ago the 67 and if you hit equals again it's going to give us our other answer which was erroneous so again the class whiz uh, has the ability to solve your quadratic for you and bypass the work. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.